welcome back to Learning Lockdown, coming to you from Liverpool College with me, Mr S. And me, Mr Ray. It is time for Mars. <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> it's time for math. <laughs> it's time for math. Right, as we just did in English, we were talking about your toolkit and bringing in all those skills. I got skills. We're multiplying. Got a new song here. And I'm losing control. Because of power, power you're, you're supplying. supplying. Unnecessary, that. Come on. <clears throat> we have been talking about the skills that you use to solve a variety of problems. This week in math, we look at three things. We have looked at reading and writing numbers. We have looked at ordering, ordering numbers and finally rounding, rounding numbers. numbers. Now what we want you to do today is put these into a real life context. We have put some problems down below in the description as always that involve real life situations where you might be required to use those skills. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go down, download the links, you don't have to print them off, open up your learning lockdown book, whatever that might be, and start solving some of those problems. Just be careful thinking, do I need to be reading and writing here? Do I need to be rounding? Do I need to be ordering? Or do I need to be doing an amalgamation of all those skills that to solve this is problem? a wonderful word. Should we ask the professor what amalgamation means? Um, yeah, let's give him a call. Hello, professor. How are you? Uh, yes, very well, thank you. I've managed to get myself under a, a table, but I've still got my trusty dictionary, okay, and I'm uh, all right. uh, yes, I'm all good. Then. Okay, that's fine. Thanks. Great. So we just want to ask you what amalgamation means, because Mr. A's just used it, but we're not sure what it means. Amalgamation. Amalgamation. Well, amalgamation means the well, it's the action or the result of a process of combining or uniting. Yes, that's uh, that's amalgamation. Thank you. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. We're going to go now. Okay. Thank okay. You. Bye. See you now. So, the problems are listed below. We want to see you using those skills we've done so far to solve the problems. And as ever, if you do complete them, or even if you don't and you get halfway through, send us what you've done, send us photos of you working on. We love to see it and we'll try our best to put them on the channel. We can't put all of them on, but we will try our best. On that note, here are some that we got sent yesterday. Okay, let's look at some maths. First of all, this is Lucy, one of our avid followers from Berkshire, and she has done some fantastic rounding work. And look, somebody's marked it as well. So parents, if you can, have a little look at your kids' work and you can mark it, but don't worry if you can, if not, we'll do it for you. Imagine if there were 30 books there. Next, we've got a young man here who is hard at work rounding his numbers. That is fantastic to see. And then finally, we've got some more great rounding. This is from Zach, and we've been told that Amaya did the year four task for the rounding exercise, so well done to those two. And just to clarify, Amaya is in year three. Yes, yeah, sorry, yes, well done. Fantastic. So, if you like this video, two things, hit subscribe, and finally, share, share, share. Get this on Twitter, get this on Facebook, get this on whatever social media platform you are on, at Learning Lockdown, or if it's Twitter, at Learning Lock Do One. And let's Do see. Do One. What we really wanna see is Joe Wicks. We wanna see the body coach, at the body coach, Mention at the end of one of his sessions, now boys and girls, make your way to learning lockdown. That would be, be cool. that's our challenge, we think, by next week.